Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from a case of multiple myeloma or plasma cell myeloma and this particular tumour is involving the vertebral body. We can see that there are a lot of very pink or red areas and some extremely intensely blue areas. These blue areas are where the neoplastic plasma cells are. But let's first look at the pink areas. And we can see that there are some fragments of pre-existing bony trabeculae. And this is because this sample is a curating from the vertebral body. Again here we can see the bony trabeculae. That's, uh, these are fragmented. And in between we can see lots of fibrin. This pink material is fibrin. So plasma cell myeloma comes from a spectrum of plasma cell neoplasms. In myelomas, these tumours are multiple and they involve the bone marrow. However, there can also be sometimes solitary tumours and these are known as plasma cytomas. These plasma cytomas can be in the bone or they can be extra osseous. This is taken from a case of multiple myeloma rather than a plasma cytoma. So let's have a look uh, at the bluer neoplastic areas and we can actually see that there are numerous neoplastic plasma cells. We can still recognize these cells as being plasma cell or plasmacytic in nature because we can still see that the nucleus is eccentric. There is still a little pale hof, perinuclear hof, just next to the nucleus and this is the outline of the cell. So a very eccentric nucleus, quite an oval shaped cell and a perinuclear hof. And as we look around, we can appreciate this plasmacytic appearance. There can be a wide range of differentiation in plasma cell neoplasms. This particular tumour is still considered very mature where the cells closely resemble mature plasma cells. In other instances, we can have more plasma blastic appearances where the NC ratios are higher, we don't really see a perinuclear hof, and we can see more prominent nucleoli. And over here we can see a feature that suggests a neoplastic population of plasma cells and this is binucleation. Moving to another area which is a little bit thinner, we can perhaps appreciate the plasma cell morphology a little bit better in this instance. Plasma cell neoplasms can produce abnormal light chain proteins and in some instances this can give rise to amyloid deposition which is an insoluble extracellular protein and in some cases of multiple myeloma or plasma cell myeloma some of these patients may have organ damage due to amyloidosis. However, this is not always present in all patients. Hence, in summary, this is an example of a case of plasma cell myeloma or multiple myeloma, which is the presence of multiple clonal proliferations of abnormal plasma cells within the bone marrow, and it is part of the spectrum of plasma cell neoplasms. Thank you.